Hey, what's up guys? I'm here for my first knife review in like so long. Um, and I came I came back wanting to do a review of something totally unique, not just, you know, an average knife. So here we have the AAA Professional SOL knife. Now, it's in here, but this is the uh, boxing it comes in. I wanted to show you this because, well, there's several, there's a few things I want to read off of it. But also, it's like some of the thinnest casing, uh, or boxing, whatever you want to call it, that I have ever seen. It's just incredibly thin, which is totally awesome. Um, I got this for Christmas, so I don't know the price off the top of my head. Um, but the the MSRP from AAA is around 40-ish bucks. Now, this is the NRA edition, as you can see. And um, let me uh, read you some of the specifications. This is the AAA SOL. I'll get to what SOL means in a moment here. All right, we have a 420 stainless steel handle and a 420 stainless steel clip. As you can see there, it says AAA Professional right there on the clip. Okay, you can remove it with two T6 bits. All right, so, and it would make for an extremely thin knife, probably about a quarter inch. I mean, it's extremely thin. Uh, the clip, oh, that's 420. Oh, by the way, the handle, sorry, is three inches long. So, relatively uh, small package. All right, now let's open it. How do you open this guy, huh? There are no full-on reviews of this thing on YouTube, so watch. You pop, you gotta push this thing over that to the side, and you swing it open. Yeah, how awesome is that? And then it kind of clicks in uh, when it comes back. If you can hear that, maybe not. It's really, it's a really small little click, but. And then, once you're holding on to the knife, I mean, it can't open because the opening mechanism is right in the middle of your hand. And if you're holding on to it, there's no way that's going to, you know, disengage. All right. Um, the weight of the feller is only 1.9 ounces. With this little lanyard I made on here, it's probably about uh, 2 or 2.1. Two so, but still, extremely lightweight. And I, I made this... Um, lanyard for it a while ago to give it a big old handle extension because uh, when you're opening it because what it does is you can hold on to this guy oops get a better group there you go uh, you can hold on to the lanyard with your three uh, bottom fingers uh, kind of lay it on top of your first finger there the knife that is push it open with your thumb and then like kind of like in a, a balisong ish movement kind of flick the knife open and the uh, handle will whip out and it comes back to your thumb and then all you gotta do is get your thumb and then push it together and bam there you go you're ready to stab some little uh, dwarf zombies you know so there you go very unique knife if you ask me um, all right features a key slash lanyard hole there or loop uh, like I said, you could take the clip off, and it looks like, no, never mind. I was going to say, it looks like you can take the, the loop off, but I do not think so. Right? Also features the uh, uh, patent pending, the T8P uh, spinner action, which is this whole dealio here. Um, so, T8P, obviously standing for Triple Eight Professional. All right, so it's really smooth. It was kind of somewhat stiff when I first got it, but uh, yeah, there you go. And obviously, order this from the NRA store magazine. is I think that's the only place to get this exact one. All right, now let me tell you guys some facts about this knife. Uh, I gave you guys the specifications. Oh, and by the way, I didn't say this. The blade is one, in, one and a quarter inch of about a spear point blade dual edged one has these little serration dealios going on and the other is just a plain edge and it's got a super duper sharp tip i mean wow it is seriously like a needle i mean whoa look at that guys i mean that tip if you can see that right there on my first finger come on I'm getting focused i mean it's like scratching up my uh my skin that's how freaking needle sharp it is look at that 
Seriously, that is a sharp point right there. Kind of gross, but I'm just doing that to show you guys how freaking wickedly awesome this is. All right, so let me tell you guys some facts about this knife. Uh, it is designed, whoops, by the famed, very famous uh, knife designer or knife smith, uh, Kirk Rexrote. Kirk Rexrote sounds like something Scooby Doo would say. Rexrote, Rexrote. Um, and it's based on the OSS thumb daggers used in World War II. Okay, um, now let me answer the question that probably a lot of you uh, want to know. Uh, what does SOL stand for? Some of you probably already know, but I haven't heard this used in just like everyday speech. So I, you know, um, I didn't know for a while. At first, thought it was killing me. What the heck is A or SOL stand for? So I had to look it up. All right. So let me give you a little background. OSS was the spy agency prior to uh, the advent of uh, the CIA and the thumb daggers that were used by them uh, were to be used as his last ditch last ditch uh, weapon when they are in a horrible situation I mean you know pretty much the only weapon they had was something like this uh, that's got to be a damn bad situation if that's all you got right so then that usually meant that there was uh, no other weapon available to them and so, as a result, they were SOL. They were shit out of luck. Okay, excuse the language, but hey, it's the name of the knife. So, SOL equals shit out of luck. Right? You got that? Let me uh, show you guys the packaging up close. Um, you, can pro you can pause to read that. Look at the little pictures there. Um, SOL. <laughs> It's a folding fixed blade knife. Yeah, very much so. It's very strong. Um, also says there the things I pretty much just told you. Feel free to pause and read. But I want to read you guys the lifetime warranty down here. And that's going to be the last thing I say in this review. Let me read this to you. And it is word for word. I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right. It says right here. If you're not happy with your AAA professional product, we'll repair or replace it for the life of the product. Sounds pretty good, right? This warranty does not cover damage caused by abuse to the knife, in parentheses, possibly caused by small children, rabid dogs, or someone's mother-in-law. Uh, no joke. <laughs> Says it right there. Um, also, neglect or failure to read instructions due to not being able to find your reading glasses. <laughs> How awesome is that? Feel free to look. It's right there. It's right there. Also, as it says here, it is designed right here in San Diego, California. Well, not right here in San Diego, but I mean in California. Um, but it is manufactured in China. Um, also, it says right here, number 22896. I think it is. It's upside down. Um, and March of 09. So it actually has a date right there. So that is pretty dang awesome. Um, so I highly recommend you guys to uh, pick one of these up. I mean, it's great for every, like, small, let me rip off one of these pieces of paper, uh, you know, cutting out coupons in the mail or something. Um, I mean, just opening mail, small tasks, you know, do through the size of the blade, you know, you're not going to obviously go stab people with it. Um, you could, but let's just, see, it just pierces really nice, and then you can just tear straight through it. Um with the serrated edge. It's not a great cutter, but still, it's a great piercer. I mean, it's a great little knife. It's a backup knife, like I said. It's it's not meant uh, to do big tasks. So guys, I'm at my 10 minute mark. Um, I'll leave it at that. Again, go pick one of these sweet little dudes up. Um, and it's the Triple Eight SOL. Thank you guys for watching.